Hi guys, we are breaking down this tab to install Zorin OS 17 and uh, set up a dual boot with Windows 11. It's all about keeping it simple and straightforward. No tech jargons, just easy steps. And hey, we are not stopping at installation. We will also show you how you can uh, gracefully say goodbye to Zorin OS if you ever decide to part ways. We will walk you through the step by step. From creating bootable USB uh, to choosing your uh, boot order. Let's talk about a uh, bit about Zorin. Uh, Zorin OS is a user-friendly uh, Linux powerhouse with clean UI and pre-installed app. Ready for dual boot magic? Grab your USB drive and let's get started. Now before we jump in into the Zorin uh, dual boot adventure, let me share a quick look at my system specification. Uh, I have a i7 9 gen of processor with reliable 8 gigs of RAM. If your specs are a bit slow, uh, don't worry, you can still join the fun. Uh, let's move on to the next step, creating a partition. Let's let me open disk management tool. Here, uh, as you can see, I have two drives. One is hard disk and another is SSD. Let's focus on SSD only. And of course, Windows is installed on my 136 GB partition in SSD. And lucky for us, uh, we have a sweet spot of uh, 100 GB uh, unallocated space. Uh, that's where uh, Zorin OS finds its new home. If you don't uh, have any allocated space, no problem. Just delete any partition and you can create uh, an allocated space. Uh, you can install Zorin OS in a minimum 30 GB of partition, but I recommend to going for more than 50 GB if you can spare it. Now, this is the USB drive which I'm gonna make it bootable. Make sure it's clean because this process will erase any existing data. Now let's see how you can download Zorin OS 17. So head over to the link I have dropped in the description. As of now, Zorin OS 17 is in beta, but no worries, the process of dual booting for stable and beta uh, is the same. Uh, just hit, hit the download button and you can download it just one step. I won't download it again because uh, I have already an IOC file. Now to make the uh, pen drive bootable, you need to download Rufus. You can download it from the description box. Uh, Rufus is used to create a bootable pen drive. So let me open Rufus first. In Rufus, uh, we need to select our pen drive first. So here I uh, already select my pen drive and here you need to select your ISO file. So let me select Zorin OS 17 ISO file. Here we go. Now just click on start button and uh, Rufus with work is magic. And be patient, the process might take 8 to 9 minutes depending on your pen drive speed. So I am going to fast forward the video. And just uh, hit enter and yes yes to continue the process. Alright, our pen drive is now become bootable. Uh, let's quickly look at the Zorin files in our file manager. So let me open uh, this file in the file manager. So these are the files uh, which will uh, do the Zorin OS installation magic. Uh, now uh, we can close this and it's time to boot our system into the boot menu. So we need to shut down our computer first. Uh, let me shut down my computer. And guys, uh, you need to disable uh, secure boot uh, from the BIOS. Uh, uh, my secure boot is already disabled, so I'm not gonna uh, disable it again. Uh, let me shut down my computer. And guys, uh, when your computer is shut down properly, uh, then power off your system and start tapping F12 uh, for a Lenovo laptop. If you have other brand laptop, then your key might be different. So you can Google it for your key. Now we have uh, boot entries. So just hit enter on the Linux one. Now here is the magic begin. Click on try and install Zorin OS. It might take second to boot up. So let me fast forward it. Alright, our system is now booted into the Zorin OS 17. And this is how uh, Zorin OS 17 looks like. Let me show you the version in the setting. Uh, so let me open the setting first. And here, as you can see, it's Zorin OS 17 core. Uh, now let's move uh, to the installation part. So let me open uh, this install Zorin software first. 
all right now select your preferred language and click on continue now choose the desired keyboard layout and click on continue now uh, in this tab we have three options download updates driver and media format and sensors uh, and guys uh, you can enable uh, uh, all the option you want uh, but i'm gonna uh, go with install third party apps uh, with the installation process now uh, pay close attention to this part as this is the main part of this video partitioning and installation type since we have uh, multiple option like install zorin os it is this and uh, something else and guys uh, we want full flexibility and full control so opt for manual, manual partitioning this is the best method since uh, we have full control uh, of the number of partitions partition type and size uh, so select something else and click on con install now now uh, here first we need to select our drive where we want to install Zorin OS in my case it's NVMe so let me select it and look for a, a free space you have in my case it's my uh, 100 GB free space select it and click on plus icon and now guys uh, we need to create a part, uh, three partition first partition we will create is swap partition generally swap, uh, size of swap partition will be same as your RAM size if you have 8 GB of RAM then uh, go for 8 GB of swap partition if you have 4 GB then go for 4 GB but why we need swap think of swap like a superhero for your computer when your RAM is full swap steps in keeping thing uh, running smoothly it is not must have thing but having uh, it is like an insurance policy for your uh, system performance so swap partition is created uh, next partition is going to be the uh, boot partition so uh, again uh, select your free space and click on uh, plus icon and I'm gonna allocate uh, 1 GB uh, to this partition so let me put 1024 MB of RAM uh, MB of size and uh, uh, file system is ext4 and mount point should be uh, slash boot but why we need this partition so uh, the boot partition is stored all the essential file for starting up your system it is like front door to your computer ensuring a smooth entrance so 1 gigabytes uh, ext4 it's your the system kickoff point now both the partition are created swap partition and uh, boot partition it's time to create the main and the important partition which is root partition and we are going to allocate all the leftover space to this drive to this partition file system is ext4 and mount point is slash why root partition well think of it's like a hardware of your system the root partition holds everything together uh, like the main hub where all your files and software lie when setting up root partition make sure to give uh, at least 30 gb we want to make sure our, your system has plenty of room to do its thing now all the partitions are created let's move on to the next tab and now on the device bootloader you need to select your drive don't select any partition just a uh, full drive address like nvme in my case now click on install now now we have a list of disk changes and ask for conf confirmation press continue to write the changes to the disk here choose the location uh, uh, which will also be set your system uh, date and time so let me select it and click on continue and now uh, here enter username and password uh, so let me quick fill it now the installer will start installing the files please be patient until the installer completes its job this part might take uh, around 10 to 12 minutes so i'm going to fast forward it Congratulations, Zorin OS 17 has been installed successfully uh, and now it's time to reboot our system and you can remove your pen drive now. Now uh, let me restart, restart my system. Now keep pressing F12, uh, we need to boot our system into the Zorin OS first. And guys as you can see we have a new boot entry which is Ubuntu. 
to so just hit enter and it will boot our system into the uh, Zorin OS so here select Zorin and guys first uh, first time uh, it might take a bit longer so let me fast forward it fantastic our system has successfully booted into the freshly installed Zorin OS let me quickly complete the onboarding process so here we have our new Zorin OS 17 and it got cool stuff for a computer Zorin OS 17 take multitasking to whole new level with its revamped and smoother activities overview Switching between tasks has never been this seamless. It comes with super cool wallpaper. As you can see this one is looking so awesome. And guys we can also change the theme and layout uh, from the Zorin appearance. Let me show you how you can change it. So guys by this way you can uh, install Zorin OS alongside Windows 11. Now let's move on to the last section of this video. Uh, if you have decided to bid firewall to Zorin and restore your uh, window only setup, don't worry, I got you covered. Let's gracefully exit Zorin and bring back to Windows. First thing first, boot your system uh, into the Windows. You can do this by selecting Windows from Grub. Uh, once you are in, uh, we will move on further steps. Alright, we are back in our windows environment. First, uh, open the disk management tool by pressing windows plus x button. And here, select for disk management. And here, uh, you will see the partition uh, for the root, boot and swap. We will delete all the partition and remove Zorin OS from the system. So, let me delete each one by one. Now, Zorin OS is successfully uh, removed from our system, but hey, that boot entry for Zorin OS is, is still here. Time to kick it off. Now, open your uh, terminal and here is uh, type disk part. And guys, uh, here uh, you need to write uh, list disk to list all the disk. And here select for disk where you have installed Zorin OS. In my case, it's disk 1. So, select disk 1 and type list volume and here search for the system in my case it's volume 2 so let me select volume 2 and now uh, you, we need to assign any letter to this drive so I'm gonna assign letter X that's it now you can uh, close this and we need to download uh, one software which is explorer++ plus plus. guys we can uh, do with uh, terminal 2 uh, but uh, to make it to make things simple uh, I'm gonna install uh, Explorer++ plus plus. so let me open it here search for your drive uh, here we have our X drive now open EFI and here we have our Ubuntu now simply delete this So, uh, by this, uh, Zorin OS is successfully removed our system and its boot entry too. So, we have successfully bid firewall to Zorin OS. Now, let's uh, do a quick check to make sure it is removed or not. So, let me boot our system into the boot menu. Voila. As you can see, we got uh, just one, one boot entry which is Windows and the Ubuntu boot entry is nowhere to be found. Uh, so by this way you can uh, remove Zorin OS completely from your system. There you have it folks, uh, our mission to dual boot Zorin OS with Windows 11 and then gracefully remove it uh, from the system is officially accomplished. If you decide to dive into the Zorin OS and experience it, a uh, new big update, enjoy the journey. I would love to hear your uh, experience, thought and any question you might have. Feel free to share them in the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech journey. Thank you for watching Tech Jarvis.